Today's lesson is about factoring the polynomial with two terms. First of all, you have to do the GCF and then just check. If there are two terms in the polynomial, you will check is it these three forms. Only these three forms and I can do the factoring. Otherwise, just leave as it is. You cannot factor anymore. Let's look at some examples for these three forms. The first form we call this is a dose factoring. DOS means difference of a square. So you have a square minus b square equals a plus b times a minus b. So basically you will do the square root for a square and then the b square. Then you add, then you subtract. You add, then subtract, then do multiplication. That's all. So let's look at the first one, the example. You have x squared minus 100. So basically, you know this is a two terms, and then subtraction. Then try to do square root both for both numbers. Then I get like x, then this is a 10. So x plus 10, then multiply by x minus 10. That's it. Let's go to the second one. So we have like a subtraction. 25 is perfect square. I do the square root. Then I know this is a 5. This is a y. So my answer will be 5 plus y. Then times 5 minus y. Okay, let's go to 3. Same thing. If it's a subtraction, then you will try to do the square root for both numbers. I have 4x squared. Then I have 9. So my answer will be 4x squared plus 9. Then 4x squared minus 9. After you finish factoring, you need to check, can you keep factoring? Like, uh, this is the one, the 4x squared plus 9, it's not those three forms, so this is good. Then just check this one, 4x squared minus 9, then can I keep factoring? See, I do the square root for both, I have 2x, then I have 3, so I keep factoring now. 4x squared plus 9 times 2x plus 3, then 2x minus 3. So when you check the factoring this 3, yeah, this is a simplified form for factoring then this is your final answer. Let's go to number four. I have 9x squared, y squared minus four. Same thing, I will do square root. Then I get, this is three xy, this is two. So my answer is three xy plus two multiply by 3xy minus 2. Yeah, when I check, I cannot keep factoring, then that's all. We call this is a dose factoring, which means you have two terms and then subtraction, difference of squares. Then you will do the square root for both, then you add then you subtract multiplication. That's all for the those. Let's go to the second and then the third form. We call this is a cubic factoring. Cubic factoring.
which means you have to have like two terms, but it's the cubic number, like a one, like a eight, you have 27, you have 64, you have 125, and then it's 216 and so on. So when you have those numbers, and then you have two terms, you have y to the third power or x to the third power, then you check the cubic factory. Let's look at the formula. You have a to the third power plus b to the third power. So basically, you do the cubic root for a to the third power and then b to the third power. You got the a plus b. Then the next one is you have do the first one square, you get the a square. This is minus. See, this is the opposite sign. So this is the opposite sign. You multiply a times b. That's your second term. Then plus the b square. For the a to the third power minus the b to the third power, same thing. You do cubic root for a to the third and then b to the third power. Then you get the a minus b. Then a square over here. This is a different sign. Then a times b. Then b square. You know your second one square. Um, the key points for this cubic factoring is to memorize the formula. Okay, let's go to the number five. So I will do the cubic root for both. I do the cubic root for both. Then I will get like x minus 3. The second part, you got to do, look at the first term. Here's x, so I do x squared. This is minus, so I will get positive here. I will get positive. Then 3 times x will be 3x. 3 squared will be 9. Yeah, that's it. Let's go to number 6. So still, I do the cubic root for both. And I have y plus 4. Then just focus on y and 4. First term is y squared, so I write on y squared. Then subtraction, because this is a different sign. This is different sign. So 4 times y is 4y. Then 4 squared will be 16. Yeah, that's it. So move to number 7. Number 7, we still, we do the cubic root for both. So I have 5x minus 2y. Then let's focus on 5x and 2y. We do the first one square. 5x square is 25x square. So we know this is a minus, so over here is plus. 5x times 2y equals 10xy. Last term is always positive because you square that. So 2y squared equals 4y squared. Yeah, that's it. So for number 8, can you do by yourself just for practice? That's all for 
the polynomial with two terms factoring.